Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the five most common Citrant lead sounds and uh, how to make them and some variations you can do on them. Uh, I've set up a quick project and we're gonna go over each and every one of them and uh, I'll show you how to make them. So let's get into it. All right, as you can see here, we have a project. Uh, we have the five sounds laid out here and we have these five MIDI uh, things here. And then we have the small clips down below, which are um, turned off for now. And we're gonna use those to remake the sound in a little bit. But first I want to listen to each of the sounds. Um, we have a common squelch sound. We have a common band pass FM sound. We have this harsh band or this harsh uh, FM lead here. Uh, we have the for the classic format plugs, often used by uh, Asterix, and I also tend to use them a lot. And finally, we have something used in a break often, which is this big saw plug, but it can also be changed to um, to work in a drop as well. And there's a lot you can do with particularly the, this thing, which is very cool. So let's listen to them. So yeah, five very cool sounds and um, I'm now going to go over how to make each and every one of them. So we're, we'll start off with the squelch sound. I'm going to open up this track. You can see we have the same MIDI clip in there. And I'm going to open up Serum. As you can see, we have the initialized preset here. And the first thing you want to do is you want to drag around this macro here so you can start to automate it and drag in your automation. I like to do that at the start so I can really listen to what's going on right from the get-go. And then you want to turn on your filter and you want to select the bandpass filter. Either a bandpass 12 or more commonly a bandpass 24 is used. And you want to turn up the resonance to about halfway, as well as the fatness, and you want to also give it some drive. And then I'm going to slightly turn down the filter cutoff and drag over our macro one modulation to here. And just by setting the beginning and the end points, that kind of changes the way it sounds. So let's have a listen. That's really pretty decent. Now the last thing we have to do is add some delay and reverb. And I tend to use a lot of ping pong delay. You can turn up the delay and the reverb as well. And you get this nice squad sound. And then based on the automation, you can get some really cool ideas. Uh, what you can also do as a variation is to also connect this to the pitch. Uh, let's make it one directional and turn it up a bit. Gives it a little bit of a different tone and um, if you uh, do it well then the same frequencies should always be uh, in the same area but just shifting so it kind of um, yeah works like a frequency shifter because the pitch difference in the frequency is the same as your filter cutoff. That can be a cool trick. Um, next up is going to be this bandpass FM sound and as you can hear it's very similar. Here I use the same automation to basically do it. It's just that the starting sound is a little bit different and uh, let's go into that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to basic shapes for oscillator A and I'm going to turn on oscillator B here. Let me quick get rid of this automation. And I'm, for oscillator B, I'm going to go to Spectral and then Squelch FM1, which I'm going to turn all the way up. And for this, I'm going to turn the level down so we don't actually hear it. We only use it for FM. Then I'm going to turn up the FM. Around 50% should do. Let's quickly listen to this. I'm going to be able to play it. You can hear we have this nice a single tone and then all these harmonics above that which are really nice sounding. 
and I'm um, going to use this do the same thing where we turn on the bandpass we'll also jiggle around this uh, macro here so we can again turn on the automation for that and we can use this to automate or to modulate our frequency cutoff and also here I'm going to basically do the same thing where we turn up these knobs almost to halfway for each one of them and we're gonna add some reverb and delay turn those up nice and high to get a nice ambient sound as well as ping pong for that extra stereo effect and you get something that sounds like this now that's very high um, so I'm going to turn this slightly down so that's the sound you get then some variations to this could be uh, turning this up an oscillator or an octave kind of gives it a different tone as well as just changing the cutoff to a bit darker and uh, playing with the beginning and the end points of the of the modulation here uh, really helps you know, define the tone of the sound you can also just uh, use a different uh, carrier sound maybe something like this works a little bit better those kind of uh, make the sound uh, whichever waveform you have here just make sure that it's a harmonically rich wave so that it creates a lot of harmonics when using it as an FM source which is what we're doing here next up is going to be this harsh FM lead now this is a bit of a uh, difficult lead to kind of show you how I exactly made this sound and that's because um, it's very dependent on the waves and stuff I used and I don't want to just open up the patch and walk you through the patch I want to make it from scratch so that's what we're going to do and hopefully we get something uh, similar to this uh, the point here is is that you use two waveforms uh, if I remember correctly one of them was this this waveform here which you can see is uh, also harmonically rich and has this nice part high end and the rest mostly low end so you can really hear uh, if I play this oh you can really hear that snappy uh, high end click coming through each cycle of the waveform now we're gonna turn on the second one and I'm going to just go and find a different one let's see Maybe this is useful. You cannot really hear it, um, but we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna again use this as an FM source. I'm also gonna turn this up one octave and turn the FM up a little higher than we did for the other one. Now you can hear that we kind of have the right effect here, but each time the note sounds a little bit different, as you can hear. So to fix that what we're going to do is we're going to turn both random knobs down and I like to put the face of our uh, carrier right here and then for a modulator we're just going to cycle through until we get the sound we're after. Let's say we like this. Uh, this is a lot of experimentation to get that sounds right. And um, what you want is that, uh, as I said, um, how we had the clicky part of the wave and we had the more lower frequencies in the cycle. If you turn this off, you can really hear it. You can hear how there's like each cycle has its own little click. And you kind of want to keep that part of the FM in there and maybe with a different wave we can get that but let's say for now we like this then the only thing we have to do for this one is add some delay and reverb and um, here I tend to take the reverb and put it down to about 10% and I tend to take the delay up and um, if you have a look at the media this, this use 1 over 8 dotted notes so we're going to put this to dotted 
and I'm gonna put this to 1 over 8 so the re so the delay kind of matches our melody if you, if you can listen if you hear this you can hear that it's in the same rhythm as our melody which really adds to the sound makes it nice and stereo so the next uh, patch I'm going to show you is this nice format plug sound here and uh, again we start off with a um, basic patch let me quickly open this up the PC is a little bit slow today because I've been doing a little bit of other recording stuff and I have some stuff running in the background so bear with me uh, for this sound I'm just going to dive in by turning on the filter and choosing one of the three format filters here uh, let's go with number three for this one and um, I'm gonna turn it up so that it's nice and high end here and then with we're going to um, what we can do is you can go two ways here if you want to trigger each individual note uh, of, of your sequence uh, you can use the note on and if you just want to draw one long note and then make the sequence inside here what you can do is use your chaos oscillator I'm going to go for the chaos oscillator which means I have to um, go to global uh, check the three boxes here make sure they match your modulation source and then I'm going to set my rate to be 1 over 16 I'm going to go to filter filter cutoff here and we're going to turn that up nicely and I'm going to go to chaos 1 here and turn it up a little bit and choose the filter variation which is going to be our format here so now you can hear if I play this we have this nice format sound and what we can do to make these plugs here is um, we put it on 1 over 16 and get this nice very plucky shape going and we put that here make sure this is on trigger so it's synchronized with uh, your chaos oscillator which is also always in trigger mode then I'm going to turn on the distortion and to get some high end back I'm just going to select the down sample I'm not going to touch the drive or the mix here maybe the mix down a little bit like 50% uh, we can turn up the volume a bit with our multiband compressor and finally I want to get rid of any low end that might be in the sound here and then if you add some delay and reverb again nice ping pong delay nice washed out reverb you get these nice little plug sounds okay so the last patch I want to go over is uh, the big saw plug here and this is a very versatile thing as I said um, if I go in here what I usually do is I turn on the sub and um, oscillator B and I put oscillator B up one octave and put this on around about 11 maybe 13 voices I always tend to keep one voice in the middle so this would be an odd number same for here uh, just a little bit less like 7 would be okay and then finally we're going to select another saw wave for the sub here and we're gonna turn on the filter route everything through that and we're gonna first uh, give our plug a nice shape a long release a long decay and a nice um, sustain almost at halfway here so we can turn this down neatly make sure that the high end doesn't get cut off too much and um, to use the actual release on this second envelope we also need to turn up the release on the first so that's what I'm going to do and now we have a very basic sound here fairly nice but not really what we're looking for so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the distortion and put that above our hyper dimension which I'm also going to turn on I'm going to turn the dimension down to around about let's say 20% here and um, I'm going to add um, the dimension here now if we overdrive this or 
use the tube distortion you can really hear that it starts to become very loud which is kind of the sound we're looking for this nice impactful sound here so um, I'm going to use the multiband compressor to enhance it even more and then finally I'm going to add a second filter use the again as a Lopez 12 um, but experimenting with the different types of filters really helps change the sound so our final filter really helps give it some more impact and kind of shape of the sound um, you can again also use this to uh, drive it a little less into the distortion so it's a little less intense now as you can hear it kind of uh, turns down a little um, it turns it down a little bit more a little less high end so those were the five most common sounds in Psytrance uh, I hope you enjoyed if you have any more suggestions for future videos feel free to let me know in the comments and um, if you like what you see and you want to see more uh, please subscribe and I hope to see you next time bye bye